Go. Uh, regarding uh, DCF, um, the report today, uh, at least regarding how, the, how they're screening foster parents and how they treat different parts of the quarry, you voiced two months ago having maybe perhaps concerns about how they screen foster homes. I mean, does this kind of go into your concerns or what's your, what's your thoughts on how well, DCF Well, I, I think that the, uh, first of all, I think uh, DCF is very rigorous about uh, the best interests of the child being paramount. And I think uh, uh, their view and most people's view would be that uh, not every quarry uh, or not every criminal conviction is not is, is equal, so that uh, they're making decisions on the basis, uh, at the senior level, in the case of uh, a Corey waiver, on the basis of uh, of the individual and the family circumstances and the child's needs. And I think that's how it should happen. Well, yeah, people have concerns that perhaps there's people with records, you know, in foster well, homes. You can have a record. Uh, it might be stealing a candy bar when you were 14 or 15 years old. That's a record. And you'd have a, uh, a Corey for that or similar sorts of things. That isn't as serious uh, in the case of someone who's had no other uh, incident until they became an adult, as many other crimes would be. That's why I say uh, they are right to take into account the specific uh, circumstances of that individual and the family circumstances uh, as well and the needs of the child. The fact that it keeps some of the really serious crimes, though, as discretionary, I mean, there's some ones on there that are, are pretty jarring that th well, you know, think, aren't, aren't you know, totally screened out. Most people who deal with, uh, with people and circumstances know that not every circumstance is the same. Uh, so uh, I think the right thing is to have uh, paramount, as DCF always does, the best interest of the child and have those decisions when there's a waiver made at the senior level. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to harp on this, but, um, you know, we, when we hear stealing a candy bar, to me it seems that's on a different level than assault or battery or sex with a minor I think that's right. That's my point. And, but yet some of these people convicted of these serious offenses are still able to be foster parents. And, did and in some, well, I don't know all those, uh, uh, all the circumstances. I'm not sure that uh, those circumstances have been made, uh, have been made public. But if somebody has had 20 years of, uh, of, uh, of leading uh, an exemplary life, the fact that they have in the past had a conviction should be a factor, but not an automatic disqualifier. And that's the only point. So you have that, okay that's a, you don't that's want to question. That's change the them? only point, which is that uh, which is that uh, judgments have to be made and they are made at the senior most level with the best in interests of the child paramount. Anybody else? You guys good? Does storm storm stop. Anything else you want to say?